For today's video, we are going to get our new mattress installed in our bedroom from Dream Cloud, as well as a master bedroom refresh. We have been looking for a mattress for a long time. It's been great to have a bigger bed. For like 10 years, I had Zeb's knees in my back because the bed wasn't quite big enough for him to stretch out. And so they wound up on my side. So having a king size bed was good, but the mattress was really never my favorite. Let's see if we find any fun treasures under here. Jimmy likes to hoard like old picture frames and windows. mirrors and windows underneath the bed. Well, like under the bed, not under the mattress. This is what happens when you build stuff for yourself and don't feel like running back out to the hardware store because you were short one sheet of plywood. So I got the one sheet of plywood here and I got scrap wood over there, but it supports the bed really well. All right, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Can get the knot out? The FedEx guy showed up and dropped this right in front of the door, like on the stairs. <laughs> he must be tough because that thing is heavy. So this mattress is not just foam. There is actually pillow top and coil technology and all kinds of things. And the reason why we decided on the Dream Cloud when we were researching mattresses is because this one had the best reviews. I'm excited. You hold the mattress, I'll pull this. Get it! Come on girl, pull! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey, we're winning! <laughs> oh, it's got another case! <laughs> No, is it? No, this is, okay, this is the bottom. Yeah. Now, how do you open this? this? All right, I let this vacuum seal out. It's, it's gonna, snapping up. It's, it's gonna alive. grow. I've heard people say it takes like 24 hours to fluff up and get to its full height, but at the rate it's growing, I don't think it's gonna be that long. It's going pretty fast. Had we not been in such a hurry to unpackage it and watch it expand, we may have noticed that it comes with this handy dandy box cutter to cut the plastic off so that you don't risk cutting your mattress with scissors. And it's complete with unboxing instructions. If you get one of these, they give you everything you need to get it out of that packaging, that vacuum sealed package. There's even step-by-step -step instructions. Step one, actually look at the instructions. <laughs> hey, I'm in my shop space at Molly's Forget Me Not. I need a few things to decorate with, for my room just with some fall and winter flair, so I thought, why not come here first? Okay, so I'm taking this farmhouse bowl. It's a handmade bowl that I actually picked and loved but didn't know what to do with it, so now I'm taking it home. And I'm also gonna take these set of wooden apples and this like mini dough bowl home and I'm gonna take this pitcher. Here's the items that I picked from the shop over at Molly's. I've got this pitcher, it was $9.95, this little mini dough bowl, I think I had it $12.95, and then these fake apples for $3.95. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it for fall, winter, and then when I'm ready to switch out my decor, I'll just put the tags back on and sell the items and then get new stuff, which is kind of what I do because all the items that I sell are either thrifted, found, antique, vintage anyways. So it kind of allows me to rotate through my decor and I'm always having new fun things. Zeb picked these up at Hobby Lobby for me. They're not like the fall, the normal brown colors, but the green with the white with the fuzzy velvet, whatever that is on there, to me feels a little bit fall and it'll play nicely with my apples, which are kind of a fall decor item. I'm just gonna cut these short so that way they fill in my vase. They needed a little fluffing. They got kind of flat coming over Maybe on the take ride. take off the price tag. Yeah, take the price tag off. They were $9.95 each, but it's half off week at Hobby Lobby, so I got both of them for $9.99, and I don't have to water them. So on Zeb's side of bed, I have this primitive farmhouse hand-carved bowl that I'm kind of obsessed with. It was at the shop for $39.95 because it's like legit old, and I'm actually not super sad that it hadn't sold yet because I actually picked it for myself. So this may live at my house for a while. It may not go back to the shop. We've got our Ikea plant here, a little dusty. Put that in the middle. And then I'm gonna fill it with these bags of cotton. 
Hobby Lobby has these right now for $4.99 and all of their fall is like 40% off from now until it goes to like 70% off. And I like these because I can just fill in this bowl with them. All I'm doing is hiding this black piece here. Plus you wanna add some interest to the bowl. If it was just the plant and then the bowl, it looks a little disjointed. So this cotton helps connect the two items. You could cheat and just do two bags and then nobody knows that it's not there in the back. We're already cheating by going shopping at the shop. Yeah, I already shopped at the shop. Why is that cheating? It's a good idea. Instead of buying new stuff, just use what you already got. I like it, I'm on board. Now that we've added our simple decor to each side, I like to keep it not too much because Zeb likes to have room for all of his things. That's where I put all my electronics so I can charge them at night. Yeah, realistically, there's usually a camera there and a phone, and then I like to eat in bed, so there's like candy and stuff, but well, once a week the room gets cleaned up, so it's <laughs> nice to have decor on the sides. Next step, we're gonna be making the bed. This mattress has been out and unrolled for a couple of hours. Yeah, about three. It's almost fully expanded at this point. It says it can take one to three days to fully expand because they really mush it to send it to you. But there's a little bit of a smell. They call that off-gassing. It's just because they use medical grade foams. The smell isn't harmful in any way and they say it goes away in about two to three days. I've already noticed it's not very much. It's not super strong or even obnoxious. It just kind of smells like new plastic, I guess you could say. And we're gonna put our sheets on. They smell like downy, so I think we'll be good. So next step is we're gonna make the bed and put our new bedding on. Definitely big and fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> so I buy my sheets from Amazon. They're really soft and comfy and not overly expensive. I'll have Zeb drop that link for you. And I love white sheets because you can bleach them. So our comforter came from Home Goods. I think it was like $69.95 for the comforter, which is a flannel fluffy comforter. And then it has a couple of pillow shams. It's a little wrinkled, but we're gonna get our Jiffy steamer out here in a second and we'll get all the wrinkles out of it. The brand is Tommy Hilfiger. Whenever we get new bedding and linens, we always have to steam it because you get all these wrinkles that come. I guess you could iron it, but this Jiffy steamer makes easy work of removing wrinkles. We also use it for Sundays when we're getting the whole family ready. It's really one of those things that comes in handy a lot. If you saw our last bedroom tour, we had these three white shams and I'm saving them because I wanted to add some height to the pillows. Zeb asked that I not put like 20 pillows on, so I pared it down to six. So I've got my three Euro shams in the back. These are from Walmart. And then the two shams that actually came with the set, they're a nice flannel, soft enough that we can go ahead and just sleep on them. And then I've got my grain sack pillow from my last bed set. And I really love this faded blue color. I feel like it works really well for fall. So I pulled from this color when I was picking out my throw for the end of the bed. So my throw is nice because it's got a cable knit on one side, very soft, and this ultra soft Sherpa on the inside. Zeb sleeps a little bit hotter than I do, so I always like to have an extra throw so that way I can put that on my side without making him sweat to death. I had Stecan Y and I got it at Home Goods. It was $30. For a throw, I just like to kind of put it over the end of the bed and then gather it up just a little bit. Thanks for following along as we do our fall, winter refresh in our room and we unveiled our new mattress. I think Zeb's most excited about that. You know, I've only laid on it for about 20 minutes, <laughs> but I'm ready. I'm ready to spend a whole night on it. We'll let you know in about a week on our Saturday Night Live how we enjoy the mattress. We'll also drop a link to Dream Cloud below with a $200 discount if you'd like to get your own. We'll drop the link for the Jiffy Steamer and our Amazon Sheets. The bedding and the throw were from Home Goods, and Home Goods is one of those stores where everything's always changing, so I'm not really sure where you could pick those up. But I know the Gingham's popular, so you can find them in a lot of your Home Goods stores. So one of the things that we caught a lot of grief on was painting our whole house white when we went back through last spring and winter. And you can see now, I mean, it's white, but at the same time, we're able to incorporate all kinds of different decor in, switch it out, interchange it. It works really well. With minimal amount of effort, we can decorate with the seasons and change things out depending on what our mood or color scheme that we're wanting to go with is. Make sure you hit that notifications button. We still have to finish Harrington's room. We have a few finishing touches. It takes much longer to do a kid's room, I think, than your own. 
Yeah, because you got to worry about someone else. When you're doing your own room, you're like, yeah, I can live with that. That's cool. I like that. All right. But when you're doing a room for somebody else, you got to really think about what they want and what's going to be functional for them. Be sure to subscribe. Comment below with any questions you have on maybe incorporating some farmhouse style into your master bedroom or your home design. We love helping you out. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.